Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Hey. Hey, remember that time when Rex Tillerson called Donald Trump a moron? We were so young back then. <laughs> well, now we know why Tillerson said it. Uh, we knew it had to do something to do with the military or the Pentagon. It was kind of vague, but here's what happened. Apparently, over the summer, Donald Trump met with top military officials and said he wanted a nearly tenfold increase in the nuclear arsenal. A tenfold increase? <laughs> Excuse me, why one fold into the fetal position? <laughs> he knows we can already end all life on Earth, right? The cockroaches will survive, which is good news for Steve Bannon. <laughs> but tenfold, a tenfold increase. Why tenfold? Why not a thousandfold? Is ten just as high as he can count? <laughs> I want it made more by this many. <laughs> this many right here. <laughs> this many. How many is... Got to get in the light. Here's how we shambled toward the brink this time. This summer, uh, military brass uh, showed the commander-in-chief a chart illustrating the steady reduction of U.S. nuclear weapons since the late 1960s. Trump indicated he wanted a bigger stockpile, not the bottom position on that downward-sloping curve. I am not going to be the bottom of any chart, okay? <laughs> I, want, I want the most nukes. I want the highest sea levels. I want the biggest mistakes. I want the whitest supremacists available. <laughs> Okay, marching in the. I want. I do it. I think they're saying I'm gonna have it. They're saying I'm gonna. I'm gonna have it now. <laughs> some people. I'm swatting at flies most of the time. <laughs> I think there are flies around me now. Yeah, some people in the meeting say they did not take Trump's desire for more nuclear weapons to be literally instructing the military to increase the actual numbers. Okay, so he wasn't speaking literally. He was speaking metaphorically. We must increase the nuclear stockpiles in our hearts <laughs> so that together we can drop warheads of compassion throughout the world and turn every nation into a smoldering pile of love. <laughs> now, this morning, Trump denied he ever said any of that stuff, tweeting, Fake NBC News made up a story that I wanted a tenfold increase in our U.S. nuclear arsenal. Pure fiction made up to demean NBC equals CNN. <laughs> NBC equals CNN, which is the square root of ABC, divided <laughs> by QVC to the power of BET and by the transitive property. That means VH1 is now Animal Planet. That's science. That's... that's... Science. Anyway, it's a long walk. It was a long walk. Sorry. Then later, later, same day, same interview, just later. Let's just say later. Trump reaffirmed his commitment to the First Amendment. It's frankly disgusting the way the press is able to write whatever they want to write, and people should look into it. Sir, for the record, people did look into it. In fact, we, the people, looked into it and thought, yeah, they should write whatever they want. But... Should read it sometime. Very short read. But, evidently, him, the people, feels differently, tweeting, with all of the fake news coming out of NBC and the networks, at what point is it appropriate to challenge their license? Interesting question. I have two follow-ups. When is it appropriate for Twitter to deactivate the account of a president who doesn't believe in the First Amendment? And can that be yesterday? Could that... Oh, Trump also took the opportunity to calm a worried nation about, you know, everybody dying. I think I have a little bit uh, uh, different attitude on North Korea than other people might have. And I listen to everybody, but ultimately... My attitude is the one that matters, isn't it? I think perhaps I feel stronger and tougher on that subject than other people, but I listen to everybody, and ultimately, I will do what's right for the United States and really what's right for the world. 
with the possible exception of South Korea and Japan, because you guys are just too darn close to where we're going to, you know, <laughs> sad.